Hey guys, Sarfraz Khan here. Welcome back to the channel. Would you believe if I said that you can completely cut distractions, increase your focus and productivity just by one simple technique and most importantly, complete all of your work. And that technique is the Pomodoro technique. The best ever way to increase your productivity and destroy distractions. If you're curious to know what is the Pomodoro technique and how to use it, make sure you hit that subscribe button without procrastinating and make sure you watch this video till the end. So just like I said before, the Pomodoro technique is the best way to cut off distractions and increase your productivity at the same time. You might have heard about this before because I have spoken about it in some videos but only in a brief way. But this video is gonna be a detailed one. This technique may seem silly at first when you hear it for the first time but it has benefited millions of people. You also want to be that one in a million right? Okay. The Pomodoro technique was first introduced in the 1980s. So that is a pretty much long time. It was introduced by a person called Francisco Cirillo. At that time, Cirillo was also a college student, like most of you and me. So the thing which every single student comes across at some point of time is lack of concentration. Do you agree with me? He was struggling with lack of concentration. As a result, he was not able to study well and he was not able to get good marks. He was literally fed up. He was feeling so bad about himself. He wanted to find a solution for this. But one fine day, he came up with a solution. He decided to do something. He decided to focus on studying just for 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes. And he did it well. And soon after he repeated this process, he started to feel like it was a game. His studying process was more like a game. Like 10 minutes of studying, break. 10 minutes of studying, break. And so on. And finally, he realized that he was able to concentrate more on studies than before. Most importantly, for the purpose of marking his 10 minutes, he was using a timer which was shaped like a tomato. And what do you think a tomato is called in Italian? That is called a pomodoro. And this is how this amazing technique was born. Okay, it's time to show how to use the Pomodoro technique effectively. So before we start, let me tell you something interesting. The Pomodoro technique is the best way and the most simplest one too for increasing your productivity and eliminating distractions. I bet that there is nothing more simple than this. Okay, for the first step, in order to start with the Pomodoro technique, you have to choose one task first. Just one task to perform, not multiple things. I have this work of writing an assignment over here. Let me show you. So let's fix just 25 minutes and a clock and start writing the assignment. Okay, 25 minutes done. Let's take a 5 minute short break. Most importantly, in this 5 minute break, you shouldn't use your phone. The reason why I'm telling not to use your phone is that the chances are very high that you are gonna be distracted from your work because your phone is a very very dangerous distracting agent. You can go around for a walk or drink water or eat something or just chill out but just for 5 minutes. But don't use your phone. Okay, the 5 minute break is over. Set the timer for 25 minutes again and start writing. Okay, any more of this is actually gonna make you bored. So I'll just talk about the rest. So you have to repeat this four times, which means four sets of 25 minutes of work with five minute break in between. So after you complete this four times, you have one Pomodoro complete. So after you complete one Pomodoro fully, Take a rest for 30 minutes, a long break. And after this long break is over, repeat this process as much as you want. That is totally your wish. And guess what? That is the Pomodoro technique. There is nothing more simple than this. So why don't we have a challenge? I challenge every single one of you, every single one of you who are watching this video to come up with something more simple than this. Finally, two important tips. The first one, 
Try not to use your phone timer. You can either use a clock or a stopwatch. The reason why I'm failing not to use your phone is that, let's take this example. You're focusing on your time, but you receive a notification from your friend. There ends everything. Your productivity is destroyed. So don't do this. But even if you want to use your phone for the timer, it is at your own risk. You can turn off all notifications or do whatever you want. But try not to use your phone, that's much better. And the second one, don't go more than 15 Pomodoros per day. Because even if something is interesting to do, if you overdo it, that will also become boring. A healthy and a perfect number of Pomodoros per day is around 10 and 12, not more than this. So I hope that this video is very useful. Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this video. Remember, there is a challenge. I challenge any one of you to bring up something more simple than the Pomodoro technique. Let's see if any one person comes up with this leaving you with a challenge so that's it for today guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up chat with your friends and family and drop your comments down below make sure you hit that subscribe button for new videos every now and then until next time stay happy stay motivated and believe in yourself